what's also a, a point um, where a lot of carers and, and also patients have the trouble with is the change of the relationship. This is something I, when people say to me they're thinking of looking after a parent, I generally advise them to sit and think about it because it changes so much that you have no idea about beforehand in ways that you is totally unexpected. So as I said, you said there's my husband and my, my son. Um, we had to completely renovate our house to allow Dad to be there because our little ha your house wasn't big enough when he first moved in. So we had to put on a second story. So we lived in the house while all mm. that was being done, which was quite hard for all of us. Um, but the idea was that we would have the parents retreat. And I think that is one of the things that kept me sane because um, I could get up the stairs and Dad couldn't. As Dad's medical um, issues grew, I grew more into that probably hard shell of being a carer. I lost the joy in my life. I lost the laughter. I didn't dance in the kitchen spontaneously, which I used to do. I kind of lost me in that care role so that then follows on to my relationship with my husband and my relationship with my son. My husband and I have a great relationship which I'm very thankful for and so we talked about this the whole way through. My whole thing with the boys was going away at weekends if I um, left to go anywhere I would always try and get dad into respite um, because I didn't want to leave them with the responsibility of looking after Dad. So th there certainly were testing times, mm -hmm. but I think the fact that we've always had good communication between the two of us helped. Mm -hmm.